We say head Tahimi Ibrahim Nyas Clinic and Dara of Kunkujenkete in the north of the West Coast region on Wednesday received two brand new ambulances from a British national, Dantin Hayden. Now, Dantin, who lost his father during the peak of the COVID 19 uh, pandemic in the Gambia, brings the two ambulances for the health clinic that supported his father during his time of need. He expresses gratitude to the people of the community for their uh, good gesture towards his father and promise to support them in any form he could. Maria Macham reports. Essential allergy and the surrounding villages in terms of easy transportation of people with severe health conditions needing emergency support. It is said that one good turn deserves another, which encouraged Dirtin Hayden, a British national who lost his father at the health clinic during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic in the Gambia. He brought the two ambulances to the clinic as a way of giving back to the community that supported his late father during his time of need. To say thank you to the community for supporting their own until his demise. Dayton Hayden said he was inspired by the care and support the health center rendered to his father until his demise. He said his team traveled hours and days to get to the Gambia just to deliver to the people. We thank Fatu for the help she gave my father and uh, we will try to help the community the best we can but we need to know from you what you want from us. So. We would like to speak to the elders later on and we discuss what, is, what the clinic needs and what we can do to help. Father was Chris, you may remember him, he died here two years ago. Uh, myself and my wife, we come from Wales, which is in the UK. Donald and Charlie, they come from Scotland. We travelled down with two cars. Uh, we spent 40 hours at sea on boats and 5,000 kilometers on cars driving on the roads. In 10 days of driving and four days on boats or rest days. Dr. Ba, a gynecologist and the medical doctor at the health facility said the hospital provides health services to more than five villages where people frequently receive their medical treatment. We're here to care for the, for the boat, for the needy, and whoever he comes to our, our clinic so that we can give him basic medical attention that is needed in this community. Basically in this community we, we covering almost for more than two more than five villages around that's Kunkujang. And then the community takes um, it's almost how the Alcalo says it's almost about hundred thousand publics that we are covering for, including boarding schools, which are chronic boarding schools. That teaches um, the the Quran, all of them that comes here, and then we see them, we treat them, and free of charge. Alaji Salif Sisi, the Alcala of Sinju Alaji, expresses gratitude to the donors, describing them as exemplary persons, and the donated ambulance will greatly serve the entire community of Sinju Alaji. I'm then content to be mad. He says we are very happy. Come for some new new talk for you, Kanam. For you, the honourable guest, to be here today. Because you people are very useful to the community. Which is a big help and you, 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 you desire to do it for us and we appreciate it. We really appreciate it. From the tarmac or highway to here. Every pregnant woman, if he is carried with a donkey cart or a horse cart, or from here to the highway, delivery is a hard, is a very very difficult thing. So, so If you put your hands in this. In order to ease or to facilitate that, uh, that activity, the community is saying thank you, people. The residents of Sinchu Alaji and the satellite communities also express gratitude and happiness to the sponsors. According to them, the gesture will go a long way to address some of the health challenges the communities have been facing, including the lack of ambulances. The donors, however, promise to do their utmost best to keep helping the community as long as they are aware of the challenges the health facility and the community is faced with. Reporting for iAfrica News, I am Mariama Cham.